Scream is available in theaters nationwide tomorrow, tomorrow. on Friday, January 14th. And this is uh, the second time I introduce you now for a new audience. Jack Wade, <laughs> good to see you here, sir. Hello, new audience. Yes, How hello, are you? new audience. So we just saw a clip of this film. What can you tell fans of this remarkably successful series of films? Oh, man, I what can't can you... say much, but what I can say is... I mean, you know, Scream is back. And Scream, I feel like, has always been a movie for horror buffs. I feel like it makes horror buffs out of out of, out of, of people. I remember uh, being, like, four years old, uh, and it was, like, my first Halloween trick-or-treating. And I went out, and Scream, the original, had just come out, and all of a sudden, I saw around me in that neighborhood, like, every other kid was wearing a ghost face costume. Right. And it traumatized me. I was like, <laughs> no, thank you. N nope. I don't want to. I don't want to see more of this. Um, right. There was one kid that had like a, a translucent ghost face mask that you could like pump fake blood down, so it looked like it was. Oh like it's gosh. still in my nightmares. It's 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 terrible. But uh, uh, if you had told my four year old self that I would one day be in a scream movie, he would he would run away crying. Um, but I'm I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that I am. Uh, eventually, I you know started watching more horror movies and finally faced my fear, got to the original Scream, and it made a horror fan out of me. Right. Uh, you know, it it's a kind of a gateway drug to horror, <laughs> you know, in a way. That's how I like to describe it, because it, it's always making, you know, it's a great movie, but it's also making references to other horror movies, so you yeah. want to go out and watch those, and, and I did. Uh, so I think for the for the Scream fans, I can say this is a love letter to you. Um, you're, you're really going to get a kick out of it, um, and Scream still has your back. Like, I, I, I think it's scary. I think it's funny. It still has that meta commentary to it mm -hmm. and um i mean i'm very biased but I, I i love it well i mean so clearly you know you're a man of your own right we'll talk about the boys uh in a second but <laughs> did you did you fan boy any of your cast members yeah you know, when you first got to see because there's some some uh, original cast in this. Obviously, Nev Campbell is coming here on Tuesday. Oh, cool. Yes, oh, great. indeed. We're excited about that. She's Courtney the best. Cox, David Arquette, just yes. to name, you know, a few. Did you did you fanboy any oh, of these about, films? Uh, I call them the OG three, and uh, <laughs> yes, I fanboyed uh, over all of them. They're they're all incredible. Uh, David Arquette. I, I think I had just watched. Have you seen his documentary? Yes, it's kind of all nutty. It's yeah, so I good. Yeah, I, I loved it so much. Right. I had just watched it. And I, I, I met him and I was like, I, I don't know how to compliment somebody on a documentary about themselves. Yes. I was like, you were so good in your documentary. Yeah, like, he's you. not acting. No, I don't know why. I'm like, <laughs> you existed in it and I enjoyed it. You were great it. playing yourself yeah. even though you were doing just nothing but yes. being yourself. Exactly. Because it's about yourself. You were yourself very well. Right. <laughs> you know, uh, right, right. but he was, he was the best. He taught us all uh, how to paint. What? Uh, yeah, he is a certified Bob Ross painting instructor. Come on. Yeah, yeah, of course he is. Of like, course. he's the guy, again, for the, with the afro who talks about the beautiful clouds yeah. and stuff like Does he do that commentary as he's painting he, as well? He, yeah, it's like there's a, is he, I, I guess, took a course in Florida or something and got certified. And he is actually allowed to teach the Bob Ross painting technique. And what? Yeah, this is a real, Dave, I love, <laughs> this is why I love David. This is real. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That wasn't in the documentary. Uh, no, but th there should be a whole separate documentary about David all about painting, I think. Uh, okay. Um, wow. But uh, yeah, he had us all down in this common room, like all the new cast members, and we all just, uh, he just led a class. Like he would look over and, you know, check everybody's work. I still have my painting what that I made in what my did, place. What did you paint? Some happy little trees. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, a lake and a mountainscape. And it was, uh, you know, it was very, very relaxing. It was great. Happy little trees. Happy little trees. Because again, like that's what I'm saying. Like if you become certified, it's yeah. got to be more than just teaching someone how to paint. You have to have that that voice. Yeah, it's got to be soothing. Like you can't be manic, right? No. You've got to. You've got. So does is that part of? He's the, very. He's a very yeah. calm person. Like you know, in the movies, he's very. You know, because we all have to be scared all the time. We all have to be a little bit more. You right. know, manic. But you know, he's very calm. David to me is a very calming presence. And that, you know, that whole session was just was just amazing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is something that makes me better for having known it, to yeah. be very honest with you. I like to share it with the world. As, Jack Quaid as as here <laughs> on the Rich Eisen Show, and that's that's an original that you're painting. <laughs> that's an original. Um, and so then uh, what was it like to actually do this film, like actually perform it? 
It was, it was amazing. I mean, like, I, I had done, I've done like one horror movie before uh, called Tragedy Girls, and, and that kind of had a, a lot. It was inspired by Scream, uh, but this, I don't know, just to be within the actual franchise, right? something so iconic was, you know, I got, when I got cast, I, I, I couldn't really believe it. I, I, I still kind of can't believe it. Um, but to work uh, alongside legends like that and then to work with this, this new group of castmates was amazing because we shot it during... I was about to say the height of the pandemic, but just the pandemic, which we're still in. Right. Um, but we shot it there, and it was um, in North Carolina. In North right? Carolina, Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, shout out to Wilmington. There I we go. I love you. Um, but you know, I had just gone from being very isolated, and then to get this job and to get to interact with people again, and and to have them be really cool. Like I, you know, it's a cliche, but it felt like summer camp where we all just kind of became one big family and there was a lot of love there and it's also a movie about murder <laughs> so it's it was a it was an odd balance but it's a, it was dichotomy. one of the best experiences i've ever had we, shooting anything we call it a dichotomy no yeah. doubt about that <laughs> we call it a dichotomy uh, for sure jack quaid 92 on twitter at jack underscore quaid on instagram right here on the rich eisen show you grew up here in la yeah yeah born oh, and raised okay so yeah. your sports teams growing up would be the lakers yeah i was a uh, big so, lakers fan uh we i didn't have we i didn't have football uh here growing up <laughs> right um now i do i need to go i've been to one rams game uh and i had a really good time but uh yeah i, I was a sports fan in like the Shaq kobe era that's it. uh it was the i mean that was that was the time that was the best time it was so fun Shaq kobe era so you were you're just a little kid going to games watching yeah. Shaq and kobe win championships yeah i think the best part of it though was uh occasionally like Jack Nicholson was there. Yes. And uh, I, I would go with my dad and my dad sort of knew him. And every time I would see him, Jack Nicholson would look at me and know my name was Jack. And I think assume that I was named after him. He would go like, <laughs> Jack, eh? I see what you did there. Like there was that kind of thing. And we never told him anything to the contrary. Uh, of course not. Why would you? I know. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll let him believe that. It was just, uh, that was my favorite thing. So it was like, yeah, Shaq, Kobe, Nicholson. That was the well, that mean, was the way to go. That's it. And yeah. you were clearly named after Jack Nicholson. I would let's never just, disabuse him of any single notion whatsoever. Sure. Let's, you know what, let's make that certain. canon. I'm named after Jack Nicholson. So no sure. Dodgers? You didn't go to any oh, Dodgers? Oh, no, I went to, yeah, no, I went to Dodgers games too. I okay. think that... That was more like occasional. I feel like Lakers. I, I was really, I was really into. I went to some Angels games as well. Uh, the year they won the the World That's Series, which was awesome. Two thousand, I believe it was two thousand, right around there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was great. Well, two thousand two, two thousand two. Yeah. yeah. I, that was my last year on ESPN. I try to. You know, those, that's been so long ago. I know. Uh, the boys. Let's yes. talk about this. Yes. Let's talk about a little it bit here. Oh, let's cool. Go. All right. <laughs> Very, you just, did you just wake up? Or I'm very what? in. I mean, well, I'm doing a bunch of things. I'm listening. I'm doing, okay. the, but I'm very into the boys. Great show. Oh, thank you. It's phenomenal. Thanks so much. Yeah, we. It's uh, it's, it's so messed up, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Is like you try to explain it to me because I try to tell people, hey, you should watch the boys. It's great. You'll love it. Yeah. What's it about? Okay, so how do I describe this? I had this same problem. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it basically think about superheroes and if they're the worst possible people ever. Totally. I, I had the same problem when the show had not been out yet. I tried to kind of elevator pitch it to my friends, and there's just a lot there. Once you see it, you understand. Right, but right, right. I was like, there's superheroes, and they're real in this world, but they're bad. I'm not a superhero. I, like, I was like, they, they were like, what? And then I just kind of described that, that first scene that you really see me in where my girlfriend meets uh, – <laughs> Her end spoilers. It's in the first episode, but first I think scene, when people yeah. watched that scene, they were like, "Oh, I get it. Yeah. yeah. What if, you know, the uh, there's collateral damage that happens if superheroes act actually existed in our world?" And uh, I love it. It's also such a great satire, and I love being in something so satirical that can comment on real world events like that. Yeah, June third, twenty twenty two is June third. We have a date. Coming. Yeah, you got it. Emmy yeah. nominated series, The Boys, and so. Do, do you do people think when they run into you that you're somebody that's letting them down like literally meeting you in person that sort of thing like like that? uh are they disappointed to meet me sometimes no no no, no. <laughs> letting that that you are somebody who is uh not a superhero but oh got that it yeah sort of thing no i mean they've, no. Just, they've <laughs> just been nice they've been like huey and i'm like yes and that's the interaction i guess but uh <laughs> Um, but, uh, no, I, I don't know. Yeah. There is that kind of odd thing where you're like, I'm on a superhero show and they're like, do you have powers? And I'm like, no, I don't. 
I'm a guy that works in an electronics store, but, uh, you know, I, I react to things, uh, I guess. <laughs> but I have so much fun working on that show, and the cast is amazing. They're also, we've become this family at this point. I'm covered in blood most of the time. Okay. Uh, fake blood. Okay. I should, I should, I should clarify. Appreciate um, that. We need to make sure. Yeah, we should, we should tell people. Um, but it's just a blast, and uh, we just wrapped our third season, and I, I can't say much about it. But it's you can't so, it's say so anything up. about what you're doing, man. I can't. Everything is shrouded <laughs> is in, in mystery. Like I know. even in, in your, I just saw you had a little hitch in your giddy up. You're like, you didn't want to give away a spoiler of the first episode of something that's about to have a third season that you've already shot. Like, I, it, I want to I apologize like, to America for the hitch in my giddy up. That's what I'm just saying. I, I, it's you a know, common, I I mean, uh, like, I, I want you to just be, just be be free, Jack. Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, but you can't give away. I mean, Scream is about to hit. Yeah, that I, I, I can't I give away. That'll just ruin the experience. I don't remember the last movie again where where a film sends out to all of their fans. When you see it, shut up. <laughs> But just give us a good word of mouth of saying you should see it, but don't say anything about totally what it is. I totally respect that I do move, too. though. It's, it's great. I do, too. Because you don't want to know before you go see it. I mean, it's kind of like recording a, a live sporting event, though. Yeah. Like, you got to keep huh. it quiet. You know, like if somebody's on sports blackout. Sports blackout. But you can't. But the, here's the difference. Is you, when somebody's recorded something on sports blackout, you can't even say, wait till you see it. Oh. Because that blows it up. It's just like, oh, so it's that not a blowout. That implies up. something it's crazy. Right, right, right. Well, I really like the what? It's like, right. you know what I mean? Like, I can say that all the time. Wait till you see this season. This oh, my God, this season. <laughs> That's the yeah. difference. Yeah. That actually helps on that front. Yeah. Okay. So are there more screams in the shoot here? Can you even say that? I can't. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, here's, the, here's the other thing. Are is there that more you'd... Priuses in your future? Do uh, we even... Maybe. Okay, there you go. That's a maybe. nice tease. No right. hitch in my giddy up when it comes they to Priuses. Can, they're very good. <laughs> I, I, I had one for a while, since 2013. It was, I, although I did leave, uh, I went to like a party or something. It was like a barbecue, and I remember I brought... Um, a bunch of like burgers yes. uh, and I, bu I brought a lot of like turkey burgers and then I some of them weren't cooked after the party I, I, I put them back in my car and then for some reason I just oh did not take them out of the car and then I left town for two weeks oh. and so that Prius smelled like raw uncooked turkey burgers Whoa. for um, months so that's the first horror movie you ever did yeah exactly my, my, it, my, my Prius <laughs> sm smelled <laughs> like there was a corpse in it and that's why Priuses are scary there we go <laughs> this is what I'm saying so, but if you're the guy who was driving on the Prius you're more than likely than not than the guy that I pass uh, in the left lane and have to see the face of you know because I, I have to see who's driving so damn slow yeah like, I'd literally have to give that look. Yeah. If you, you know, were in that scene, they should have added you into that scene as the guy going like, hey, come uh, on, move it. I know the producer, so I'm more than happy yeah. to be in the next one. And I Shout don't know out if to heard, William Sherrick. And, and now if you know, uh, and William, I should speak to William. He would know. Uh, I'm, you know, campaigning to be the next host of the Oscars. I've done oh, my that. God. Yes. I'm, you, know, I, you know what? Actually, I saw that in the green room. Yes, yes I'm rooting for you, man. Well, I, you know, oh, so you saw it in the green room? I saw you campaigning oh, okay. on the little so TV in the green room. you haven't heard it around town is what you're oh, saying. Oh, you know, sure. <laughs> People shouted at me uh, from their cars. Okay. Well, that's another word of mouth. How about that? I, yeah. I will give great word of mouth to Scream. Okay. And uh, and you, you know, tell everyone in your circle. You yeah. would be a great host of the Oscars. Yeah. Rich Eisen. Okay, cool. When when this clip comes out and yes. they see that we've had we have an arrangement. Yes. Um, do you think that would complicate things at all? No, because I have no shame. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Okay, that's, great. The, that's the whole thing. <laughs> Let me check. I am shameless. Let me check uh, if I, I do. I have zero no. shame about this at all. Yeah. So Okay, whatever. No, yeah, let's do it. There is an I and Rich. And Eisen, <laughs> you understand? That's yes. the way I'm, I'm a host. I'm a television host. I should have no shame at all. You host. You host things. That's what I do professionally. Yeah. yeah. I host. And I promote. <laughs> and I love the movies. I love the movies. Here we go. You know, so that's Well, I'm rooting for you, man. I will, shout it, I will shout it out of, uh, I will Thank shout you. it at every Prius you I You know see. people, Jack. I do. That's all I'm saying. I know people in Priuses. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm not going to let this Prius thing go. <laughs> Never. Absolutely. Sorry. Don't. Just keep oh, bringing it die. back. It's, yeah. a, it's a recall. <laughs> It's a recall oh mania right here. It's called here. a callback, and I oh, callback. enjoy it. That's it's yes. a callback mania. That's what I was trying to I didn't to mean do. to correct you. I was just, no, I don't know. It's okay. That's all right. <laughs> you just undercut my entire opinion of myself the show's being an impeccable now. host. Yeah. Tufo actually has a Prius. It's parked outside. He wants you to autograph it. He's too afraid to ask <laughs> You have a Prius? Yeah. What? I'm I'm right. Are you right. the only guy who owns a Prius and a Range Rover? <laughs> probably pretty, pretty much, probably Honestly, close. Like, yeah, is, 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 is that kind of even out to like a Honda Civic? 
<laughs> no, the, the, the only thing that's more outside those margins is a smart car and yeah. a Maybach. You know what What's I mean? What's a Maybach? Oh, oh, the big. Oh, that's like the big expensive Mercedes. Yeah. Is yeah. that like that's a, the ones where the doors open up? You know, you have a driver that's out. Curtain, like you know, they fold or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's, there's a then, butler in the that, trunk. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Butler in the trunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's yeah. in the there's, trunk. There's like there's like blinds, right? The, yeah. yeah, they have curtain. Yeah, blinds curtain, closed yeah. down. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a little house. Pretty it's much. like a G5 on the ground, though. G5. My Prius has blinds. I mean, I added those in. Stop I wanted it. to no. make the my, uh, a it's Maybach. A big, uh, one day, and then this Maybach. is going to be my dream. Yes. I'm going to leave turkey burgers in a Maybach. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. You are <laughs> made it in, my friend. By the way, that's the title song of Jack Quaid's new album. Turkeys in my Maybach. Tur- tur- no, turkeys in my Maybach. <laughs> gobble, gobble. <laughs> See, we leave our guests in a turkey better position. Turkey burgers in my Maybach. In which we find them, I should host the Oscars. That's yes. the what I'm saying. Yes. Jack, great to see you. Sir. Great to see you. Congrats Thanks for in advance me. of the uh, the success that Scream is going to be in theaters nationwide tomorrow, Friday, yes. January fourteenth. Season three oh. of The Boys. Make a note of it right now. I know exactly what I'll be doing on June third, two thousand twenty-two. I fell asleep watching The Boys last night. Um, oh hell yeah! You went to bed watching. No, nice, you, don't, you can't you. say that. No, I, no, was, no, I like that. That was a compliment, that, though. Rich, you can't this, take though. things that was a compliment, compliment bro. at all. <laughs> yeah, Jack, I, I was watching. I, I went on a little binge. I got up to like episode five. And I f- it was like two one in the morning. Okay, if you yeah. if you got to episode five before you fell asleep, that's a really good yeah, sign. Was, so thank you, I yeah. appreciate that. I binge watched. Compliment, yeah, Rich. compliment. His heart was in the His right place when he said you that. You watched it until you fell asleep. Phrasing, yeah. Exactly. Right. Phrasing wasn't the best. Yeah. The number of times <laughs> that I heard, I'm sorry. Uh, when I was on Sports Center back in the day at the two a.m. Eastern show. That's late. No, but 11 o'clock out here from people out here saying that they fell asleep watching me on television. It's just it 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 just it, it hurts. It I think you took. Hurt. I think you take things the wrong way. But I think okay. I think Jack knew like it was a compliment. I'll say I'll say this though. Like I think it's a compliment because every night I fall asleep watching like seasons. Uh, I want to say like three through nine of The Simpsons, which I consider like the best TV ever. <laughs> yeah, so sure. that yeah, that's a compliment. You know, people. Like with The Office or whatever, you know, that, that's like a thing that people, that soothes, yes. pe- soothes people. Okay, so yeah. it's not a, it's not an insult if he says, I fell asleep watching your work on something else. But if he fell asleep during that answer, that's an insult. Yes. If I, <laughs> yeah, if you, uh, is, are you awake? <laughs> I'm here. Okay. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Who doesn't know? Okay. Jack Quaid, everybody. At Jack Thanks, Quaid here on Twitter. At Jack underscore Quaid on Instagram. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.